Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, Sneaky Guy here, and today I'll be looking at the latest Fall 4 mods on the Nexus, some of which are inspired by the new Fall TV show. So, I'll be showcasing 5 new mods today, including 3 new guns. So, if you enjoyed the showcase, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's get into the first mod today. Okay, so for our first mod today, we have the Vault Girl Recreations, Lucy McLean from the Fall TV show, made by X Make Damn Sure X. This is a looks menu preset for Lucy McLean from the Fall TV show. So, if you ever wanted to do a playthrough of Fall 4 with the protagonist from the Fall TV show, then this is the mod for you. It requires the Ponytail Hair Styles by Azar, Looks Menu, and F4SE. Now, onto the next mod. Okay, so the next mod today is Lucy's Vault Tech Backpack, made by Quib Quib Mods. So, this mod adds the backpack Lucy uses in the Amazon Vault Show. It also includes a brown, non vault Tech edition, and so Lucy's backpack can be found in the blue pod outside of Vault 111. It also adds plus 25 to your carry weight, and it can also be upgraded to increase that at the armor workbench. So let's get to the next mod and the first weapon of the day. Okay, and I actually made a new character for Lucy McLean, using her character to showcase the mods. And I tried to go off the special stats from Fallout Shelter, but I couldn't fit all of them in, so I'm gonna put those up when I level up this character. So I actually am gonna go back onto my other character, actually. I was really just starting this video out to showcase the new preset here, but you will definitely see her in future videos of mine, so look forward to those. Yeah, let's switch over to my regularly my regular character I usually showcase mods on. Now for our third mod today, and we have the Select Blaster made by her, and it's their take on Lucy's tranquilizer pistol from the Follow TV show, and it also includes energy weapon options along with custom animations including power armor animations. So this weapon can be used as a syringer and it can also be used as an energy weapon too as seen here along with those custom animations which are very cool looking. So the weapon can be found inside Vault 114 in the Overseer's office next to Nick and once obtained it can be crafted at the chem station under Cell Blaster and at first it's just the air pistol tranquilizer version and you can mod modify it into the blaster. So the tranquilizer version also uses its own new ammo which you can craft at the chem bench too and otherwise it just uses fusion cells and as I stated before it also has first and third person animations along with various attachments and custom textures. So let's get to testing it out in the wastes. Air pistol. Okay, and I'm actually gonna go to Vault 114 to get the one that's there. And you know, it's very fitting to do a vault in this mod review episode, given the theme of it surrounding the TV show. So let's get to doing that after I mod one that I just cheated in. Okay, so there it is all modded out. Oh, I'll just equip that. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna go to Vault 114 to get the one that's actually at Vault 114. Go onwards. So let's head down to Vault 114 and test this bad boy out. Ah, back to my old stomping grounds. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> it's still open from last time. Oh! Hey! Oh wow. Oh, nice! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I got that on camera. That shit was epic. Let's fight our way through this whole vault. Why not? I don't know if there's anyone actually left in here after you clear it out initially. Oh. Do 
Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, I love what they did there with those animations. Nice. The select blaster is now craftable at a chemistry bench. Select air pistol. Okay, so, finally got it. So yeah, once you get it from here, instead of cheating it in like me, it becomes craftable at the chem bench, and you can also craft the stun. You know what? Let's test it out on a companion. Hey, Preston. <laughs> well, it works. Sorry, Preston. He'll be fine. What? That's what y'all get for always stealing my kills. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I will test this out a little bit more in the wasteland, so let's go do that. Now that I have both versions of the weapon the blaster and the stun gun. Not, let's see if I can take Swan out with this weapon. I still have not killed him yet in this character. Oh shit, maybe I can. Oh. Look the beast. Hello, Swan. Prepare to die. Wow. <laughs> okay, he didn't even get to say his little thing where he says Swan. Okay, ew, don't drink that. Gross. Well, it's very effective on Swan, I guess. So yeah, this is quite the powerful weapon when it is turned into the this version of it. Let's test out the stun gun version of it though. Let's see if it works on super mutants. Oh it does. Thanks. Should probably hotkey them. We can use those hand in hand basically. Use the blaster to like, or the stun gun to stun them, and then the blaster right afterwards. I'm kind of not thinking on the fly here, like I usually do. Very good weapon though. I love that they actually put the weapon from the TV show in right away, pretty much. So let's kill a few more things and move on to the next one. Oh, someone's scared. We should be. Exactly. Ooh, got some gunners. Okay. We got these gunning people. Oh, Mr. Gutsy, you say? I believe very gutsy after I deal with you. Oh shit, he's actually kicking my ass, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw them that I cheated in last time. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, well that is some very adequate testing of this weapon here. I'll wait. There, now it's adequate testing after killing that thing. So, this is definitely my favorite mod today so far. So, on to the next weapon. So, the next mod today is the Cowboy Carbine, which is part of the Commonwealth Weaponry expansion, which we've already done quite a few of their mods before by Degenerate Dak. I'll link one of those up in the corner there actually for you to go check out. The last mod review we did, we actually did another one of these. The Grenade Launcher. So go check that out if you're into explosive things, because there's quite a lot of that in the last episode I did. And so, this mod adds a brand new, fully custom, vintage styled .357 Magnum 
carbine to the Massachusetts wasteland with over 50 plus brand new attachments, custom models and textures, custom animations, new .357 rounds with the munitions mod, and levelless injection after level 14. And there are also three uniques found as a duffel bag in the super duper mart back rooms, Coast Guard Pierce Roof, and by a beached tank north outside of Fort Hagen. Looks like it's quite a good weapon on its own, so I'm gonna go test out one of the variants, one that I like the best, after I modified, of course. So let's get to doing that. Not gonna put a suppressor on this. Or grip to Okay, so there it is, fully modded. I'm gonna go out and actually find these variants at the actual places. I think, based on these, I'm gonna use Trench Cleaner. That seems like the best one in terms of, like, the legendary effect it has. Although, I will say, Urban Plenty definitely looks the coolest out of all of them with the barbed wire over it and the tape on that part of the weapon right there, but. In this, I'm just going to be using the Trench Cleaner, so let's get to testing this one out at those three variant locations. Okay, so the back rooms... <laughs> not those back rooms, if you know what I mean. But the back rooms in here is where the... One of the variants is supposed to be. Certainly hope it's not like the back rooms that I'm talking about. You fool someone made a back rooms fault mod. <laughs> if there's any modders watching this, can you get on that please? <laughs> For us horror fanatics. Bullshit. Right? If that mod isn't made, that is bullshit. Oh, there it is. So the long arm can be found at Super Duper Mart back rooms. Not those back rooms, but the back rooms in Super Duper Mart. Right back here next to the corpse of Josh. So let's go find the next one. Okay, I'm going to the Coast Guard Pier for the next one. Now, I actually will have to do some fighting at this place, so it would be the perfect place to test this weapon out. Might have to whip out my other weapon to select blaster too, because super goons are not too friendly and not too easy to beat. And apparently we're fighting a rad stag first. Okay. Oh, a prime rad stag. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got a floater. Oh, okay. Never mind. That floater doesn't want any of that. Oh. <laughs> did the unaliver just kill the rad stag? Oh, it did. <laughs> Not the rad stag being lurk, like, being base for the... For that guy over there. Well, better the rad stag than me. Oh, very quick at reloading to this one. Here, if you think I'm scared of you, then you got rocks in your head. Here we go. Oh, I love this weapon. Where? Oh, look at him hiding up there. Damn you, you jerk. We're going up there. Enough of this shit. Oh yeah, we're going all the way up here. A little closer so I can hit his head. Nice. Bagged a bit there, sorry about that. Oh, and there it is. Hurt me plenty. Yeah, the next weapon is on the top of the Coast Guard Pier. So, let's go get the next and last variant of this weapon here, which is by Fort Hagen. It's Fort Hagen again, I don't remember. Oh, it's up this way. Okay, so we made it to Fort Hagen, so let's actually go. So it's supposed to be outside of Fort Hagen. Ooh, some lucky candidates to get attacked by me. Nice. Oh. <sighs> My goodness. I was at the wrong tank, apparently. As by the APC. To be fair though, it is the night time, so no wonder I can't see anything. Oh, there it is! Trench Cleaner! That's actually the one we're using right now. So yeah, the last one, last variant, the Trench Cleaner, can be found at this beached tank, literally right outside. 
defense here by Fort Hagen, by the satellite array. It would have been nice to know it was just right outside that, but yeah. So, that was some adequate testing of this mod. Let's get to the last mod. Okay, and so now, to our fifth and last mod of the day, and we have the Thumper Grenade Launcher, made by Diakuto. And this is a redux of an already existing mod made by Sean underscore S of an M79. And so this is complete with new textures. <laughs> Almost dying. <laughs> That's gonna be part of the bloopers. <laughs> new textures, attachments, and animations. This mod aims to breathe new life into the M79 standalone weapon by Sean underscore S. And so this mod comes with a wide range of new attachments and skins along with a unique variant found at Gorski's cabin with a legendary effect. And it also works with power armor and has a third person animations. And this weapon is injected into level lists starting at level 20. So let's get to testing the last mod of the day. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's very effective against ghouls, I will say. Oh, don't mind me, Mr. Ghouls. Taking a little nap there. <laughs> okay, here is the legendary variant. St. Sean's special. Does more damage to lower your armor resistance. So let's modify this legendary edition out. And then I'll test it in the wastes. Oh, it's pretty place to test this out. Actually, we got some Swamp Folk. Oh boy. And a Sentry Bot, apparently. Oh boy. Ugh. Okay, this random attack dog needs to leave me alone. Get away from me, jerk. Man, look at it limping. I will say, this is very slow at reloading, but it is definitely powerful enough to warrant keeping it in my arsenal. I mean, look at it just like crippling that robot. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> I just love like the random gulp noise behind me. Oh, got some swamp bolt. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Mystery Stranger. You made another appearance. Gosh. He's become quite a regular in this series of mod views. He lives on in this <laughs> in this mod showcase series rent free. Any more swamp folk wanna mess with me? Okay, apparently there is a <laughs> How does that not see me, is what I want to know. Oh god. This is the worst time to come across one of them. Oh no. Oh wait, this is actually packed my punch. Oh, I'm not out of syntax, I'm gonna cheat some of them in. Okay, I'm gonna have to get one of my other weapons off for this. Yeah, a trench cleaner for this. Okay. Oh no. Shit. Oh boy, it's chasing me. Oh my god, that's not a good time to have a door not work. Who's this bitch ash? There we go. Oh my goodness, I was so scared I was gonna get the dead. Catch the dead there. Thanks, nice job. And there we have it, Vault Dwellers. Those are the five new mods today, including the three that were inspired by the new Fall TV show. So I definitely suggest checking out the show if you haven't already because it is amazing and worth the watch. And if you enjoyed this mod showcase and want to see more like this, then leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember everyone, stay sneaky.